how to trigger the dark mode with Tailwind CSS. Here I got an XGS application running and the first thing I need to do is to go to my tailwind.config.js and I need to add the key value dark mode class. By doing this, I'm going to tell Tailwind actually to use the dark mode when I will add a class and this class will be actually the class dark. And this class dark will be on the top level of my application. So when I go to my layout.tsx, this is where I want to put my class. So here, what I'm going to do at first, I'm going to give a dark behavior, okay, to my application. So here I'm going to say that on the body, the class name here, on dark, I want to have a BG slate of 900. And also what I want to have is on dark, a text white. Okay. So how is dark mode working? Actually, what we need to do is to add the class name dark. Now we added this, okay. It's going to uh, change everywhere in our application, actually, uh, the classes depending on the modifier dark, which relates to the class name dark. And now when I get back to my app, suddenly my background changed. It changed to the BG slate 900 and the text white. When I get back and if I remove my class name up there and I save and there we go, we have a white background again. We are on the light mode. Okay. So what we need to do is to uh, create actually somewhere a button to uh, trigger light or dark mode. And this button actually will do what? It will add to our HTML uh, first tag of our application, the class name dark. All right, I've created a header component with a button, and this is the button that will trigger our dark mode. So back in our application, in my component, actually, I've created three new files. Two files icon, which are basically the two icons that I will need. So when I will be on the light mode, I will have the moon icon, and when I will be on dark, I will have the sun. Then I have created this header component. And let's take a look at it because this is a quick function that I created for you in order to trigger your dark mode. So let's have an explication. Here I got the header, okay? And when I click, I'm triggering a function. This function is called switch mode. And switch mode will switch actually the dark mode. So I have created a state which is a boolean on undefined by default. And I'm going to switch actually this Boolean value from true to false. However, when I arrive on the application, it's going to be on undefined. All right. So at first it's on undefined. And what I want to do, I want to use use effect. Why? Because when I will switch the value of dark mode from true to false, I want to give to my uh, document element there the class dark. Okay. And but what I want to do also <laughs> is to put on my local storage an item. Why? In short, previously, if our user put a dark mode, I want to store it. And when I init the application, I want to set back to the dark team. Okay. So I'm putting this item in the local storage. However, you see that in my use effect based on the dark mode. So when I switch on on and off, we see that I got this condition if there is a dark mode or if the dark mode is false. And I got this third condition if the dark mode is on undefined. And this is the trick there. The trick is that when I um, uh, launch my application, at first, we will never enter into these two conditions because here dark mode will be on undefined. We will enter into the latest condition, which is set dark mode. And I will get the item dark mode if it's on true. Alors here, it's a string because uh, actually in the, in the local storage, we can't have Boolean, we just have string, so there we go. But here I'm gonna say, hey, is there an item in the local storage called dark mode? And is it on true? If there is no uh, item, it will set dark mode on false, so we won't change our theme. However, it will set it to true. And here you see that I don't get any JavaScript written with window, document, document element, class list, remove. Why? Because remember, 
our use effect is based on dark mode. And if I switch uh, dark mode inside this use effect, it will trigger again my uh, use effect. So here, if I got false, or if I got true, the value here is going to change, and I will enter again into the use effect. And this time, I will enter only in these two conditions. All right? And in these two conditions, if it's true, it's going to turn to dark. If it's false, it's going to turn to false. OK? So let's have a try. There, I'm going to open my console. And we see that I already got dark mode on false. If I click, it pass on true. If I click again, it pass on false, etc., etc. Now, I'm staying on dark, and I'm going to update my application. And magic, we stay on dark. But there's a last thing you need to do if you want this to work. Back in the layout, in your class name, what you need to do is to say to your application, hey, check if on the local storage there is a dark mode. If there is one, put it on true. Otherwise, put it on light. Why? Because when you create your header and you put it here, on the top of your children, the time the application is going to read from the top to the bottom, it will be on light. So we, you will have a side effect. It will be first on light, then on dark. And we don't want that. We want to check at first if there is a, a, an item called dark mode. All right? So as you see, it's perfectly working. And it's amazing because it gives a real good effect to our application.